Hey friends, look at that. I am in so much trouble. I, I, I just can't even tell you what kind of trouble I am in. I had to go to the feed store for pine shavings and some goat food. Now I have purposefully not looked at their baby chicks at all for the last several weeks. Purposefully, because I just couldn't resist. Y'all know that I am weak. I have no willpower when it comes to things of this nature. But we had a baby quail hatch last night. I'm going to show you the little baby quail. He hatched two days early, all by himself. None of his brothers and sisters hatched. And he was upset, and he was screaming, and he was crying. And when we were there, when we first pulled up to the feed store, I could see that they had just gotten a shipment of baby guineas. The baby guineas are small. They're smaller than baby chickens. Still way bigger than the quail, but... I thought to myself, I need to get something to put in the brooder with the little quail. And so, so what? I think the quail is scared of the guinea. You think the quail is scared of the guinea? We got a guinea. Yeah. Jeremiah, my youngest son, the eight-year-old, he wanted a baby guinea. He can't decide if he's going to name the guinea Jack or Jenny. I think if it's a girl, we're going to name it Jenny the guinea. I think that would be funny. But anyhow, the, the guinea and the quail are in a brooder together. And I was weak. Oh my gosh, I was just so weak. I looked into a bin labeled assorted fancy breed chickens and I saw I saw the guy with the mohawk. I knew exactly what it was. These are golden spangled Oppenzeller Spitzhobbins. Now, CNR Feed, my local feed store, they get their baby chicks from Cackle Hatchery. I knew exactly what these were, and I knew that they had to come home. These were the last ones in the tub. There were some Cochins, and there were some of uh, the Egyptian Fayomi, however you pronounce that word. And there were some, some bus chicks in there, not sure what those were. These, these were the only three of this variety, and so now they live with us. And I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble because I had promised Mrs. Daybird... I was not going to bring home any new additional breeds this year because we're just out of room. We we had discussed it and we had said that we might get some replacements of breeds that we already have just to go ahead and fill up the pens. But I guess I'm going to have to build a coop for these guys. Hope, hopefully this will be a trio. A little rooster and two little hens. Wouldn't that be nice? I sure hope it is. Well, thank y'all for watching. Please, 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 I beg you, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell for... Oh, yeah, I can't do that yet. I'm going to have to pause this and go and show Jeremiah's guineas. So there we go. I almost got myself in trouble with Jeremiah, my little man. Would you look at that? They look exactly Daddy. the same except for the size difference. That this is a... Guinea. That is a guinea. Yeah. And that's a Coternix quail. Quail. We're going to have to get them an actual water. And y'all don't mind. Y'all see there behind what Jeremiah's playing with. That's what we had for lunch today. I know that's not on my, my prescribed diet. God forgive me. I've just been so bad today. Lord have mercy. Well, there you go. And Look. you can see the quail is scared of the guinea. I don't think he's scared of anything. I think he's happy to have a friend. He's actually pecking at the guinea. How about that? Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the little bell for notifications. Please be sure to subscribe. Leave us a comment down in the bottom. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you think we're doing wrong. I'm always, always open for suggestions. Again, thanks for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.